Hello there, Fort St. John Alliance Church. I hope you are doing well today. I hope that you are ready to hear the most important commandment of all. You see, in Matthew chapter 22, Jesus has asked this question. And he replies, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. And I expect you already knew that, that you've already heard this verse, and that I'm not surprising you. But I wonder if we've allowed it to truly transform our life, all the way down into all of our heart, all of our soul, and all of our mind. If we love God completely with everything that we are, everything that we do will then be a reflection of that love. And I think sometimes we pull back from this. We get afraid, we get scared, because somehow we forget how good God is. You see, I'm always amazed at, in the Bible how fast the people forget the good things that God has done for them. I'm amazed that right after Joshua leads the people into the Promised Land, they've crossed the Jordan River, the first thing that God gets them to do is to stand up stones for them to remember that God has brought them into the Promised Land. This is after the Ark of the Covenant went ahead of them and the waters held up so that they could cross the Jordan. This is after they've wandered in the desert for 40 years and he has provided them with daily bread and meat from heaven. This is after he has parted the Red Sea and allowed them to escape and swallowed up the armies of the Pharaoh. This is after he did the 12 plagues on the nation of Israel, on the nation of Egypt rather, in order for Pharaoh to allow Israel's people to go. And yet each and every stage along the way, they keep on forgetting what God has done. They keep on forgetting how good he is. They keep on complaining, saying things like, oh, if only we were back in Egypt, where at least we would have food to eat. Well, what is it that you grumble about? What is it that you hold back because you're afraid you're not gonna be taken care of by God? I know that it is so hard to fully place your trust in him, but I do also know that he is worthy of that trust. So today, I just encourage you to pray, to ask for forgiveness for all the times that you have held back, the times that you have grumbled and wished for things to be the way that they shouldn't be. And then I ask you to pray for him to fill you with faith and confidence so that you can go forward exuding the truth that you love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and all your mind. Blessings.